Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and it's time for an aquarium diary update. Now it has been far too long since I've given an update and I want to tell you where I'm at. If you've been following, you know that I've had dinos for the last several months. As a matter of fact, it's month eight. This started in December, so it's been going on close to nine months now. But as you can see, the tank is starting to turn make a turn for the better. The dinos are starting to go away. Now, in interest of full disclosure, I did clean the tank this evening. About two hours ago, I vacuumed the sand, I took a power head and blew off the rocks, and that is part of my daily regimen. I'm doing that every single day to make sure that I can get rid of as many dinos as I can. Now, you might notice I don't have a UV sterilizer on the tank, and if I did have one on here, it would be up on the top in the display, not down in the sump, and the reason I don't have that is because the dinos I have are surface dwellers. They might go up in the water column when you blow them off the rocks or if they're looking for a new place to live if you turn the lights off for a couple days, but they stay on the surface and not go into the column. So a UV sterilizer is not really going to help. Now you'll see I have a polishing filter here and part of the reason I have that here is when I blow the rocks off with the power head, it goes into the water and they get sucked up into here. It has, I have a pleated cartridge in there. And then down here as well, I took out my filter roller for now because my filter roller has a hundred micron uh, filter fleece in it. This is a 50 micron. Now I should be getting like a 10 micron or less uh, one might be clogging way too quickly, uh, but dinos can get down to 7 mil millimeters. So a standard one like this, 50 mil millimeters, is not going to do as good as one of the smaller ones. Now, I've been doing this every day. That's part of my regimen. I'm also making sure that my nitrate and phosphate are reading properly where I want them to be. Now, my phosphate had gotten really out of hand because I had bottomed it out and now I was trying to raise it up, so I was overfeeding the tank. My nitrates were still low, so I'm back to dosing nitrates to get them back on level, but I'm still having a trouble with the phosphates. Phosphates had went up to 1.3, that because I wasn't testing. I was really in a funk. I didn't want to really do much with my tank because I was so discouraged by the dinos. Well, I've gotten my passion back. I'm starting to work on it again. I'm doing this every single day. I've been doing it every single day for the last three weeks, and I am starting to win the battle. Now, that doesn't mean that I've won it yet, because if I slack off, it could come right back. One of the things I'm doing because of the funk that I was in, uh, thank thankfully, Neptune finally came out with the Triton NP, which does the phosphate and nitrate. And the nice thing about that is I test that every single day now. It's set up to do it every day, uh, scheduled at 2 p.m. for me, because that's when I always test it was in the afternoon, but I also test it in the morning. And one of the things I'm doing to help bring the phosphate down is I am using uh, Neophos, I think that's, uh, no, Phosphate E uh, from Brightwell to, I think it's Brightwell, to bring the, the phosphate down. That's basically a diluted lanthium chloride. So it's doing a good job, but you have to be really, really careful. Now I have lost some corals and some fish in the meantime. Uh, I lost my Space Invader Pectinia. I've lost one of my Rainbow Pectinias. My other one's hanging on. I hope to hold on to that one. I want to keep that one. I'll be really bummed if it, if it doesn't make it. I lost a couple more fish because the dinos that I have, and I cannot remember the name, they are a toxic form of dinos. So, you know, they, they release into the tank. And part of the reason of getting them out and doing what I'm doing in my regimen is to make sure the toxic levels stay down. The other thing I'm doing is I'm running carbon, uh, which I do on a regular basis, but I usually just change that about once a month. Now I'm changing it every seven days to get those toxins out of the water. If you have any questions, put in the comment below. I'll try to get to it. But thanks for watching, guys. This is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe. Catch you soon.